In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, God's saving act pertains to the restoration of the whole person, not just to the salvation of the soul. In fact, the future salvation of Israel is described by the prophet Isaiah in terms of the following of the dry desert and the healing of a person's faculties. It is in this spirit that we should look at the healing of the deaf-mute man in the gospel. Jesus comes to open ears and loosen tongues so that people can praise the Heavenly Father and the Son who does all things well. My dear friends, let us now once again acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom 
and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Isaiah describes Israel's future return from exile as the marvelous healing of the land and the people. Their restoration is the work of the saving God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steep. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. writes the faith in the Lord enables us to see Christ in every person. Therefore, we must give reverence to each one, rich and, and poor alike. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, Sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, Stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs. Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by a way by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee and into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd and he put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to the heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ganang umaga po sa inyong muli. Mga dito sa loob ng simbahan at yung mga nakikisa sa atin sa live stream. Alam niyo po, uh, nagtuturo din po kami. Ako in a very particular, there is a particular class that I, I am really interested sapagkat yung mga sudyante ko po ay hindi lahat Pilipino. May taga Bangladesh, may Sri Lankan, may taga Samoa, and of course may mga Pilipino. Akatuwa ah, po sapagkat kapag ka, kami ay nagdi-diskusyon, kanya-kanyang pananaw, kanya-kanyang mga perspektibo, kanya-kanyang mga pinanggagalingan, daangan nga kasi kanya-kanyang kultura, kanya-kanyang konteksto. And uh, kapag ka po nasa discussion ay uh, minsan magkakasalungat. No? Minsan naman may pagkakapareho. Pero sa mga pagkakataon na hindi magkakapareho yung pananaw, uh, nakakatuwa how we, res we respond to each other. It is always with respect. And sometimes you would hear them say to each other na, Well, that's your perspective. I might not agree with you, but I respect yung pananaw mo. And uh, that particular class, continue to open my eyes sa ganda at sa kasabinipisyo ng pagiging bukas, pagiging uh, open sa mga pananaw ng, ng bawat isa. Doon mo makikita yung kung saan sila nang gagaling, anong punto de vista, pati minsan mga hugot, no? doon mo makikita kapag ka pinakikinggan mo ng maigi. And more importantly, if at the end of the day, we don't agree with each other's perspective, we just tell each other, okay, we agree to disagree. No? But we respect each other's position. Lala ko po yun sapagkat sa ating mga binasa ngayon, pagbasa sa araw na ito, it speaks about openness. It speaks about being able to see, being able to hear, and it speaks about Yahweh being the one who will liberate us from the blindness, who will give us courage to speak up. It is Yahweh who promised that hindi magtatagal makakakita ka, hindi magtatagal makakarinig ka, at hindi rin dapat magtatagal na hindi ka dapat nagsasalita. We'll be able to speak up, liberated from our fear. Ang ganda po sa unang pagbasa, if you remember, it was Isaiah who 
prophesied, we, we said rather, that the people who walk in darkness, yung, yung sangkatauhan na naglalakad sa kadiliman o nabulid sa kadiliman, will eventually see a great light. Ibig sabihin makakakita, no? ibig sabihin makakarinig, and even sabi ibig sabihin makakalaya sa mga kinatatakutan natin. Our present time, we are very much afraid of many things. We are very much uncertain of what will happen to us, what will happen tomorrow. But the assurance sa unang pagbasa ay nakakapagpalakas loob. Our God is our vindication. Our God is a faithful God. And eventually, makakakita tayo ng liwanag dito sa pinagdadaanan nating kadiliman. Yung mga kapatid natin na who are oppressed, mga kapatid natin na nasa margins, ang ganda naman po ng responsorial sum because the assurance of the Lord in the responsorial sum is that I will also be your vindication. The poor I will ra raise up. Those who are bowed down, I will straighten up. I will build them up. I will put them in front. The poor has been marginalized. Those who have been cowering in fear, afraid of many things in life. Let there be no mistake about it. I will be there for you. Yun yung mantra doon sa uh, responsorial sum. Paulit-ulit. Paulit-ulit yun. It's a promise that he will be our vindication. It's a promise that He will eventually open our eyes and then open our ears. And eventually, we will be able to make sense of what is happening to us. Ganon din naman po sa pangalawang pag uh, pagbasa, the second reading in the letter of James, we are being reminded no, of the dangers of making ourselves uh, bilang pamantayan or standard ng mga values sa, sa palibot natin. Kasi kapag ginawa natin na ang standard o ang pamantayan ay yung sarili nating pananaw, yung sarili nating perspektibo, nakakatakot yan. We are making others no, follow our own design. In the second reading, we are being reminded that there should only be one pamantayan. There should only be one standard. And that is Yahweh sapagkat sa mata ng ating Panginoon na uunawaan ang lahat. Ang ganda ng ano no, ng salitang unawa no, una ang awa no. Kaya naiintindihan, kaya na tolerate sapagkat ang pamantayan ay ang ating Panginoon. Pero subukan mong gawin ng pamantayan yung sarili mo. Ikaw lang ang tama, tayo lang ang tama, lahat mali. But if we make God as the standard, everything can be understood and then things can be more tolerable than what it is right now. Ang ganda rin po, doon sa binasa nating uh, ibanghelyo, sapagkat yung salitang epata ay isang command. Be open. It's not simply an invitation, but it is a command. Maging bukas ka. Be open to the deaf and those uh, uh, to the deaf and then to the mute. That was the command. Be open. Listen well and speak up. But in the gospel that we read today, particularly in our in our times, sa sitwasyon natin, merong kakaibang level ng meaning yung be open. Ano yung kakaibang level ng meaning na yun? Sa mga pagkakataong ito, we are being asked to be open to the good, to see the good, and to appreciate the good, even in the most difficult time. May mabuti. Maaring sabihin nyo, ano mabuti dito, Father? Namamatay na ang mga kakilala ko dahil sa COVID. Ano mabuti dito? mag mecq na naman, mag ecq hindi makapag-travel hindi makapagtrabaho, anong mabuti dito? That's exactly the point. That even this most difficult moment, 
we are being challenged to be open, F pata, to see the good even in this difficult moment, to see light even in darkness, to see, to have hope even in what we are doing, what we are experiencing right now. Be open also to giving more and sharing more even when it seems to be very practical to simply look first at our own needs. Kami muna, tayo muna, ang sarili muna, bago yung iba. And then, to be open to the challenges na meron ka pa bang ibibigay? Meron ka pa bang iaabot? May panahon ka pa ba? No? Even in this most difficult moment that walang wala rin tayo. Yun yung challenge eh. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng F pata ngayon. No? Ah, Dati-rati, lagi nating sinasabi, no? ah, to give until it hurts because that's the real essence of giving. If you're simply giving out of your surplus, then what good is it? Eto ngayon, we are being forced to see the good in giving even if it hurts. To be open to walk an extra mile for those who are in need. To be open to believe that my good is not simply for my own sake. To be open to that, that if I'm going to think about something good, kailangan lahat kasama. As much as possible, sabi nga ng kabataan, sana all. We are being forced to think and then to feel, not just for ourselves, but to the greater number of people. To be open in this time of pandemic is to level up. Now that is the challenge of the Lord to all of us in the Gospel, not only in the Gospel, but in the readings that we have today. So my dear friends, we pray for grace to be able to respond more and more to this invitation. No, not just invitation, to this command, F Fata. As we continue with this Mass, we also continue to ask ourselves, how open are we to the many things that are happening in our lives? Can we see God? Because if we see God, kahit na yung anino niya dito sa mga pinagdadaanan natin, then there is hope. Be open. Can you all stand? Altogether, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at me, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, or who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are all in need of God's healing. Let us now turn to our loving Father that He may touch our minds and hearts for us to be whole again. With faith and confidence, let us pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayers. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons continue to become instrument of the Lord's healing through their administration of the Sacrament of Reconciliation, we pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May the Lord work through all medical experts and frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. May they find strength in those who show them love and compassion, we pray. 
Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May the leaders of our nation speak out bravely against evil that destroys the dignity of human person and conservation of the world. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. That the lonely, the migrants, the handicapped, and those who are entangled with pain and separation may experience God's companionship through the care of their communities. We pray. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. May all those who mourn the passing of their loved ones find strength and consolation in the loving embrace of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their well-being, especially for their health and safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. We continue to pray for all the frontliners in this fight against COVID-19, especially for the health workers. We pray for their assistance, for their strength. We also continue to pray for all our, the leaders of the church, as well as our leaders in the government, for their guidance and enlightenment as well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, our healer, listen to our prayer. Hear our humble petitions, O Lord, as we seek healing and peace. May these prayers help us to care and to listen to each other so that we too can become your instruments of your love and kindness. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father and almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for out of compassion for the waywardness of his hours he humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the passion of the cross he freed us from an ending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with angels and 
archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. May call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ, peace. Peace be with you. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, how blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow, endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great faith, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Brothers and sisters, good morning. The Dominican Community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 3, 2021, first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon and 4.30 a.m. p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Masses will be at 3 p.m. On, on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one with us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at Online Pomisa where you will find available online and other options for donation. All names of the donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Sa maikling salita, yung announcement po, ang ibig sabihin lang, tuloy ang piyesta natin ngayong Oktubre. Whatever happens, tutuloy po natin yung ating pagdiriwang ng kapisahan ng Santo Rosario ng, ng Manawag. So, might not be in the way na nakagawian natin noong mga nakaraang taon, pero tuloy po yan. Kailangan natin ituloy yan sapagat it gives us a sense of hope to continue the tradition na mga nakagawian natin. At maraming salamat din po sa pakikiisa ninyo sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in His peace and grant you the gifts of His blessing. Amen. May He free you from all every distress and confirm your hearts in His love. Amen. So that on this life's journey you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The celebration is ended. Go in the peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit to be followed by the prayer for the blessing for ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.